Oh, his, his foot's on the <laughs> coming out the pot. <laughs> oh, this game is ridiculous. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Al Gadu, the fantastic 2D physics simulator. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers playing this game again, so I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I basically brought this game back from the dead and I couldn't be happier. I want more YouTubers to play because this is an awesome game and it would be awesome if we got uh, more content for it. So, uh, we're gonna jump right in and today we're gonna be crashing a Fiat Abarth. Yes, a tiny little super hot hatchback. I don't know what you call it. These are pretty quick cars, I think though, but we're gonna crash one today. I'm starting to get to that point where I don't remember if I played uh, these levels on the channel or not. So if I have played this already, I apologize, but it's awesome. It's crashing cars. It's a crashable car. Uh, so we're going to do it. Here we go. We even got a little guy on the inside. Oh, I mean, <laughs> we already wrecked the entire roof of this thing. That's just, just freaking perfect. <laughs> there we go. So this is actually a pretty good uh, 3D model here. Wow, you can rip like pieces of the door off. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna launch this thing. You ready? Oh. Okay, I sent it a little a little farther than I meant to. We ripped the entire roof off. Oh god. <laughs> hey, you know what? It actually held up uh pretty good there. So you know, let's actually do that again. And I'm gonna see if I can maybe not uh decapitate decapitate myself five seconds in. I think I was going a little quick oh god that slows what, do, what does that sign say hold on uh it says uh oh don't go so fast next time i i was trying i was even slowing down okay you know what i'll go even slower this time and the good thing is um after that uh kind of part right there i think i can go a lot slower there we go didn't de decapitate ourselves that time let's go full speed into the wall yes I wish I I wish I could go a little faster. Uh, uh, so I could like really, really wreck this thing. Like, hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna grab this and oh there we go. I think we ripped uh pretty much every piece off. There's a lot of pieces on this car, I can tell. Uh just by messing around with it. Can I back up? Eh. And like eh, break the fender on this thing. Hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, I mean, you kinda can. Alrighty, so this one's called Destroyable City V1. Uh, so I guess it's just straight up a destroyable city. We got a couple skyscrapers here. We got a boat uh, in a lake, which is anchored. Can we move around the water? Or is this is this one, is this one of those ones where you can kind of hold on? Let's get it. Okay, there we go. Can we like move it around? It's lagging. Yes, it does have water physics. Awesome. Okay, let's drop a building on it. Well, let's knock over this tree. Yes, everything has physics. We just yeeted that tree into the lake. That must be a giant freaking boat. All right, so what if we were to just take this right there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Not going how I, I planned here. Oh, my goodness. I think it's really just all these water particles that are is slowing the game down right now. But, you know, it kind of makes it seem more realistic. Maybe it's just a massive tower. So it takes a minute for it to, uh, to actually hit the ground here. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. We've pretty much displaced most of the water out of the lake here. There's the boat. Let's just go ahead and throw that across the map. Why the heck not? We <laughs> seem to have hit a little piece of the uh, the building there. So it turns out the boat is not destructible. It's made out of, uh, I don't know, vibranium or something. But <laughs> there we go. There we go. I think, honestly, the coolest part of this map is the, uh, the water physics. I don't know why. Just cool just to watch water fly over. It reminds me of the... Like the sand game or something. Anybody remember that? Maybe I should play that on the channel. It's kind of, kind of similar to this, uh, on a smaller scale. But there we go. Now all the water's just pretty much gone. So there we go. The city we destroyed it. All right. So this one's called Car Crash Tunnel. So it seems as though we have a car with a uh, a hitch with an RV, and I don't know what the heck this is. Uh, so do we actually have to drive this somewhere? No, we're not driving. Uh oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, oh, there's another one. Oh, oh God. 
<laughs> so our RVs were in there's just a pair of legs coming out the bottom of the car. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's just drop it onto this one. There we go. There we go. Can you even break this car? I don't actually. Oh yeah, you can. A little bit. There he goes. Oh Jesus. Apparently he didn't have his seatbelt on. I guess he wasn't moving though. Uh, so what's the backstory on this one? Just a dude sitting in a tunnel, and a car just comes out of nowhere. What was on top of that car, by the way? There was some weird. On top, what is that? Is that even a car? <laughs> it just breaks into cubes. <laughs> and then the, the next one's like a pretty realistic car crash. But the one before that, what the heck was that? I do not know. I really do not. Okay, let's just... There we go. Hold on for dear life. Oh! <laughs> okay, maybe you should have let go. Because now you just get crushed by the entire weight of the car. That was a weird level. Not gonna lie. I still liked it because I had like multiple cars. Uh, in the same, in the same level, you don't see that very often, but, uh, still doesn't, it's still a little weird. I don't know what that first car was. Okay, I think I may have shown this car before, but not this version. Oh, God, he said, please play Neo, Neo Logical. <laughs> Close enough, you know. Uh, so this is the Supreme S-Class Crashable, the Hype Beast car. Uh, so this should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Mercedes-Benz Supreme Edition. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a real car or a real, like, um, uh, like a trim you could get or maybe, like, I don't know, like a D-brand skin. I don't know. But uh, we already lost a piece. Uh, this thing's actually pretty quick. Look at that guy. He's, he's, he's vibing in there. Car crash incoming. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Oh, and then the tire just smashes the, smashes the roof, and that's, uh, that's just great. Is there an engine in this thing? Doesn't look like there is. So how does the how does the Supreme car drive on pure hype alone? I don't know. Let's do that again. All right, here we go. And gun it. There we go. A Supreme car. You know, I'm more of a Gucci man myself, but uh, or maybe a Louis. But Supreme's good too, I guess. I don't know. His, his foot's on the <laughs> coming out the pot. <laughs> Oh, this game is ridiculous. This game is ridiculous. You know, I didn't mention this in my first video on this game, but this was actually made as an educational tool uh, starting out, Al Gadoo, which I always thought was kind of funny. It, it seems like that seems, tends to happen sometimes. Stuff that's meant for education just turns into messing around and crashing stuff. But anyway, that was the Supreme AMG. Very well done, my good man. I did play it, so now you can... Uh, you could be like, yeah, Neo played it. Or, oh, Neo, Neo-logical. I kind of like that better, though. Neo, like from the Matrix. Whoa, okay, so we have a crashable NSX. That's pretty sweet. Did that say we have headlights as well? Can we flip up the headlights? Yeah, you can, look at that! Oh, wow, this is actually pretty awesome. And we're gonna... <laughs> ka -chow, or kapow immediately crash this... Uh, very expensive supercar. Hold up a second. Let's go back. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I should do this one in slow motion. Uh, just so we can get every little crunch, uh, in there. Look at that. That part, that part's already building. I didn't, oh yeah, there's a guy in here too. Oh, just absolutely explode the front of this car out. Yikes. There it is. Two of the <laughs> front tire and the back tire meeting as one that's usually not a good sign whoa look at that <laughs> my guy's holding on for dear life Ugh! oops I, I just i just launched him okay let's just there we go let's speed it up a little bit and plumb, plumb it to your death beautiful all right, so this is crashable motorcycle versus crashable car. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the same car, the NSX right there. So apparently we're going to run into these guys. They seem pretty close. I don't know how we're going to get enough speed. I guess maybe we... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. We were already moving very fast. So I think we're going to have to do that one at very, very, very low speed here. Uh, just so we can actually see what's happening here. <laughs> absolutely clobbered this dude's gonna go flying off into the ether there he goes how many flips did he just do <laughs> oh that is that is good stuff man i don't know what's going on with this guy you all right buddy you're gonna be okay you just got hit by a, a sports car at 150 miles an hour or something crazy like that what happened to the guy inside the car 
I didn't actually see. Let's do that again. Super slow motion, of course. Oh, he, <laughs> I think he just headbutted that guy because he went through the windshield. Is this guy flying through the air again? Yes, he is. Of course he is. Yeah, let's go like that. Oh, wow. Oh, he made it up on top of the building. Beautiful. You're going to have to get back down here, though. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Remember, this is an educational tool, guys. So what if it's hyper-violent? I don't care. It's it's educating me on physics and stuff. We're just going to keep running this guy over. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish we had, like, a monster truck or something in this game. That would be that would be great. So if anybody out there wants, uh, wants to be on the channel, all you got to do is make a monster truck, and I will love you forever. Okay, so we have a Dodge Daytona RT. There's almost like a 3D effect to this thing. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. Oh, okay. It's a very jelly. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay. okay, that's not good. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, there's like an almost jellyish uh, kind of feel to this car. Oh, no. It's already falling apart. Okay, okay. We're all right. We're all right. Just keep it up, buddy. Keep it up. I don't know where this map leads. Is it going to lead to anything? Oh, no, there goes my back tire again. I think we're okay, though. It's rear wheel drive, so we're good. <laughs> there you go. Off a cliff, and that's that's where we die. All the tires just flew off. There we go. Let's just rip this thing to shreds. Screw you. Ugh. 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 <laughs> it's gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing is crazy looking. DG Motors C2 prototype with a three concept car. Uh, a completely functional car designed by Daniel Gilvne. Produced in 2050 to till 2055 with only 171 units sold in one of the last wheeled vehicles. <laughs> this car has backstory. A new one would set you back a whopping $1.3 million. Uh, therefore, it has been used in 3D printed semi space frame, blah, blah, blah. Hefty 10,000 horsepower and equivalent number of torque. Whoa, okay. Uh, so it's a car from the future. Uh, so we can drive for first break. Hyperdrive mode, a.k.a. E. Okay, uh, that's that's cool, I guess. Uh, remember, you can't zoom. You can't zoom zoom all day. Sometimes you got to ease off the O key as you probably aren't Tony Schumacher. But yeah, enjoy a possible useless car that is still somewhat pleasing to look at. I actually think it's really pleasing to look at, but that's just me. Uh, so let's see how fast we can go just normally here. There's no real sense of uh, how fast I'm going. I guess the clouds uh, can kind of show you. But what's in that hyperdrive, baby? There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the uh, the 10,000 horsepower is really showing <laughs> how fast we're going here. Yeah, but we got to ease off. We got to ease off. Look at that. We have like a, a green trail behind us. That is pretty cool. I wish we could crash it, though. Imagine crashing this thing at 10 million bajillion miles an hour. Now that would be awesome. And when you let off the gas, you can see the wing kind of going up and down. So when you go faster, it goes down. So you're more aerodynamic. But uh, yeah, this thing's cool. Whoa. <laughs> hey, we landed it. We crashed the $1.3 million car, though. How much would that be, you know, from 2050 uh, inflation? Would that actually be good or bad? I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on how the economy goes, but that doesn't sound too bad. Like, Pug Pugani's are like $3 million, and they don't have 10,000 horsepower. They have like 700, maybe a little bit more, but I don't know. That seems like a pretty good deal, deal to me, so you can catch me in one of these bad boys in 2050. But until then, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Al Gadu, a completely free game, by the way. So if you do want to check it out, I'll have a link down below, of course. But uh, yeah, that's going to about do it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya! Yeah! Oh, we really needed that thing. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.